Hello everyone. Welcome to Pi Makeup video tutorial. Today we will learn about Servo Config software. Let me introduce you to this software. The Servo Config software is about the configurations of the servo motors used to operate Pi Makeup. This software configures individual motors at once. So let's start. First, click on the servo config icon. You shall see two screens, a white screen, the GUI or the user interface and the black screen which is the terminal. We will start working on the user interface that is the white screen. So here you see there are two columns, left column and the right column. In the left column you see a serial box which has COM port and the baud rate. So first, what is COM port? COM port is actually a communication port between your Pi Mecha shield and the Raspberry Pi. So here we need to enter that connection port value. So before entering, we must need to understand the type of connection we have. Like if the Raspberry Pi and the Pi Mecha shield is connected via the GPIO and we are using Raspberry Pi 3 plus variant then we must write TTY capital S 0 and press connect. See the successful connection shows a green label and the disconnect button. If in case the connection was not successfully done then it would have given you the warning could not open port. So now that we have a successful connection, we shall now come to the operations frame which is the first frame on the right side. In this frame you see ID, current status, servo test and torque on and off sections. Let me explain you these sections. The ID section holds the servo ID. So if we know the ID of the motor connected, we must enter its value in the servo ID box and press read button. So after the successful read you shall see the current status screen moving its position with different gauges. See it is moving. In case you don't remember the ID of your motor do not worry at all. Simply go to the parameter frame and press the read button. See, read done successfully, a message received. This shows that you will get all the parameters of your motor, current ID, the deviation, the angle, the voltage, the temperature, everything that your motor currently holds as these parameters are shown in this frame. So now that you have the ID, let's go back to the operations frame to play a little more with our motor. So let's start over. Now. Write the ID that we have received in the parameters which is 5 and press read. Yeah. So let's come to the servo test section. In this section you see time in milliseconds and a position slider. So what is time? In time we can simply mention the time elapse between the two positions our motor is supposed to move. Let's say I want a time elapse of 2 seconds or 2000 milliseconds then I shall simply write 2000 and from position 0 to position 500 it must take 2 seconds. Press right. See it moved to position 500 and took at least two seconds to move from 0 to 500. If you do not wish to write, you can simply slide over. See? You see the gauge. This is the current life status of your motor. Simple. Let's now move to the torque on and off section. So what is this torque on? If I press this button on, I will no more be able to move my motor manually with my bare hands. See? It cannot be moved to any position but if I press it off which is now the motor is free to move. 
it can be moved to any position see so this torque simply is to freeze the position of the motor by pressing on you freeze its position and if you press it off you unfreeze it so this is all about the operations and the parameters now in parameters please note there is a deviation section and an angle section in deviation if you move it to position 0 and press right so there will be no more deviation when you uh, let's say the motor is moving from this value to this value so there will be approximately an exact figure like 273 and 274 matches but if there is a deviation of let's say minus 100 then this will have a slight difference between the positions see you will get kind of a small angle difference between the positions okay and in this voltage the low high voltage simply indicates the lowest value and the highest value the voltage of the motor cannot go beyond 4.5 and cannot go above 12 simple the temperature of the slider on the other hand is simply to set the temperature of the motor okay so this is all about the operations and the parameters of motor now frame is about us here you will get to know a summary about what PyMecha is you can simply go online to the website go for the online stuff and go for the codes and manual to github also the fourth frame or the manual will give you a simple pdf file of the manual of this particular software so you don't have to rush anywhere to find anything about this software to configure by mecha it is simply at your hands i hope I've made my points understood and you people can easily play along with this configuration software. Happy helping. See you guys again.